A lower third graphic can be a really quick and easy way for basically giving away information that you don't want the person saying on camera. So for example, a lot of times a lower third will say someone's first and last name and maybe their title. And lower thirds could be pretty simple. They could just be a plain text and they could just be a white text on the background. Again, they need a transparent background because they overlay on top of the video, they're not full screen. Or they could be a lot more professional and fully animated like the ones you see here, but it's accessible to anybody. You don't really need to know fancy graphic design skills and spend hours to create these from scratch. So in this video, I wanted to show you how to get professional lower third graphics and exactly how to edit it and add it to any video you want. Invito Elements is where I get my lower third graphics and they're the sponsor for this video and I've used them for almost 10 years, Invito and all the different platforms that they own. And the Invato Elements, basically the way it works, if you're not familiar, you just subscribe and you get access to everything. Not just lower thirds, not just stock video and stock photos, but music and all kinds of different graphics and fonts and things like that. So if you see up here, this is basically everything Invato Elements has. And it's an all in one platform for pretty much anybody that's looking to create anything online. So all I did was I typed lower thirds and it gave me all kinds of different options. Now. I use Adobe Premiere as my editing software, so I selected Adobe Premiere. But let me go ahead and hide myself here. They have DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, Motion, and After Effects. Now for lower thirds, After Effects gives you the most options. That's why you see over a thousand different versions over here, and Premiere Pro is second. So depending on which platform you want to use, you could go ahead and select one of these, and it's gonna filter the lower third options you have. Now I'm gonna use Premiere Pro, but DaVinci Resolve is free, so if you wanna use that and you don't wanna pay for an editing software, this is a good option. These other ones are paid programs. So I'll go ahead and do Premiere Pro. If you haven't used Premiere Pro, I'll link below a full tutorial to it as well. That makes it a lot easier to learn if you haven't used that platform to edit videos. So then I go over here, and just to give you an idea of what you get with these, let me just click on just the first one that shows up, and I'll press play. Basically, you get all these lower thirds all in one bundle. And this is basically how they will appear on top of a video. You see that? So this is what the lower third, and look at this one, it's crazy. It has a whole video inside of the lower third. Again, if you were to create this from scratch, it would take many, many, many hours. This is just basically something you get for a few bucks. So what I do then is I just press download right here. I've already subscribed to this platform so I could download anything I see. Okay, so it's downloading right now. Then I open up my editing software. In this case, Adobe Premiere is what I used. And this is the video I've already edited, right? And typically the lower third is great when someone is talking on camera. In this case, I'm talking on camera, so I wanna tell people my name and my title right here. So I already downloaded the lower third, so let me open it up. And typically graphic files, depending on what program they're using, they might be these Mogur type files, okay? so you'll get a folder like this and you can see this one had 25 with just a one download. So I'm gonna go over here. There's this thing called Essential Graphics Panel. Again, this is not a tutorial for Adobe Premiere. I just wanna give you an idea, so I'll show you how this works. If I go to this type of layout over here, it's called Graphics. So I just went to Windows and looked at Graphics and these are all the different type of Mogurt files, right? So I use them all from Envato Elements. I use them for end screens on YouTube, for professional stuff. So to add one, I'm gonna press the plus sign down here and I'm gonna find it in my downloads. I imported three of them. I'm gonna grab one of them here and I'll bring it right on top of my video like this, okay? So right now it's too big, so I'm gonna select this and usually this other panel shows up called Motion. I'm gonna reduce the size with this slider and my position I typically like to put it right in this corner, right? So let me reduce it a bit more. Let's go back in the beginning of this video. Let me press play, see how that looks. Okay, great, so it animates in. It's saying the wrong thing, right? That's not my name. So I'm gonna select it on here and they typically have a bunch of options here for you to name it. They actually had the position and scale, which I chose to do on this panel. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the text panel here. So motion designer, that's not me. Let's call myself director. Let's make it all caps here. Let's do all caps. Okay, that's better. You could increase the size, so I'm gonna make this bigger, maybe like that. 
and then I would put my name on the next line. So I open up text two and my name is Saj. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and then I'm gonna make this all caps here as well. So there you go. So let's look at this in full motion. And there we go. So it's gonna show up just like this. Now, the different versions that we downloaded, let me go back. Remember, we downloaded all of these, okay? So I could have imported any one of these. I chose this one right here is what my final is, but look at all the different types. You could even add videos in some of these. And if I go back here, that was just one of them that I showed you here, okay? Look at this one. This one's a bundle of 50. This one, you could literally download like 100 of these at one time and see which one you like. They have simple ones, they have fancy ones. This one's really cool because you could use this to, for example, show a bunch of different social media handles on the screen at the same time, maybe. And then any one of these, you could use the same exact way. If you don't like this one, select it, delete it, and then you'll get something else. So since lower thirds typically show up in the beginning of videos when someone starts talking, it's a great way to show production value and hook people in. They're like, oh, someone paid attention. Someone's putting more effort into the video. I love using lower thirds when appropriate inside of any video. So I hope you found this video useful. Again, thanks to my sponsor, Embodio Elements. Again, I'll link them below if you wanna try this exact same process yourself. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time.